సేజ్ విశ్వామిత్ర ఇన్ ది కోర్స్ ఆఫ్ టైమ్ దశరథ సన్స్ వేర్ బోర్న్ రామ ఆఫ్ కౌశల్య అండ్ భరత ఆఫ్ కైకేయి సుమిత్ర గేవ్ బర్త్ టు ట్విన్స్ లక్ష్మణ అండ్ శత్రుఘ్న షి హెడ్ డ్రంక్ ద డివైన్ పాయసం ట్వైస్ ఇన్ ప్రపోర్షన్ టు ద క్వాలిటీ క్వాంటిటీ ఆఫ్ పాయసం డ్రంక్ బై ద రెస్పెక్టివ్ మదర్స్ ద సన్స్ ఆర్ ట్రెడిషనలీ కన్సిడర్ టు బి పార్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ విష్ణు Rama was thus half Vishnu but such calculations have no meaning as it is impossible to measure the infinite arithmetically Shruti tells us that even a fraction of the supreme being is whole and complete by itself Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purna Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishyate What is whole this is whole what has come out of the whole is also whole when the whole is taken out of the whole the whole still remains whole dasharatha's four sons were given all the training prescribed for princes rama and lakshmana were specially devoted to each other and so were bharata and shatrughna we can imagine that this special attachment arose out of the way of the divine paisam was divided among the king's wives dasharatha was happy to see his four sons grow up strong virtuous brave and lovable and with all other princely qualities one day as the king was contemplating his son's matrimony ashas rushed in to announce that the great sage vishwamitra had arrived to see him Vishwamitra was held in awe by all as the most powerful among rishis Vishwamitra's arrival at Ayodhya was unexpected and King Dasharatha stepped down from his throne and advanced a few paces respectfully to receive the sage Vishwamitra was a king who attained sainthood through terrible austerities he had long ago exhibited his spiritual powers by starting to create another brahma and a rival universe he had gone as far as the creation of new constellations but was prevailed upon to stop by the entreaties of the alarmed gods vishwamitra while he was king once went out with his army and chanced to visit visit vashishta's ashrama the rishi cordially welcomed his royal guest and his huge entourage and extended to them all hospita- hospitality so sumptuous that the king wondered where all the rich abundance came from in a forest hermitage questioned by him vasishta called his cow shabala and explained that she was the fountain of unfailing plenty expressing gratitude to the sage king vishwamitra said you must give me this cow as she would be more useful with me than with you such things of power and wealth by right belong to the king now vasishta could not part with the divine cow he gave many reasons and asked the king not to press his request but the more unwilling vasishta was to give the cow the more eager the king became to possess her failing in his efforts to tempt or persuade the sage to part with the cow vishwamitra became angry and ordered his men to seize the cow by force sabala could not understand why she was being roughly handled and she was unwilling to go away from the sage and his ashrama shedding tears she wondered how she had offended vasishta that he should stand by and look on while she was being dragged away the cow easily put to flight the soldiers and sought refuge at the feet of the sage moved by the piteous appeal of his beloved cow who was like a younger sister to him the sage said bring forth soldiers to resist vishwamitra's men sabala instantaneously did so and the aggressors were soon worsted wild with rage vishwamitra got into his chariot and uh, taking up his bow rained arrows on the soldiers brought forth by the cow but their strength was inexhaustible and the royal forces suffered utter defeat 
the sons of vishwamitra now chose vasishta himself as their target only to be reduced to ashes defeated and disgraced vishwamitra then and they entrusted the his kingdom to one of his sons and proceeded to the himalayas to perform tapas directing his devotions to lord shiva to gain power with which to subdue vasishta so firm and steadfast was vishwamitra in his austerities that lord shiva was pleased and appeared before him he asked the king what his object was in performing tapas vishwamitra replied if you umapati are satisfied with my tapas let me be blessed with divine arrows and be master of every weapon so be it said shiva and gave vishwamitra all the weapons available to the devas gandharvas rishis yakshas and the demons swelling with pride like the ocean vishwamitra considered vasishta as already vanquished he straight away made for the abode of the sage frightened by the fearful sight of the on rushing vishwamitra vasishta's disciples and the animals in his ashrama ran helter skelter hit by the fire weapon of vishwamitra vasishta's ashrama was reduced to cinders vasishta regretted the turn of events but determined to end the haughtiness of the erstwhile king he faced him calmly with his brahmadanda holy staff in his hand mad with rage vishwamitra shot at him all the divine weapons he had acquired but they were quenched as they approached the rishi's staff and were absorbed by it vishwamitra had but one more weapon in his armory and that was the most powerful of all the brahmastra as he hurled it against vasishta the world became wrapped in gloom as in some huge eclipse and the very immortals trembled with fear but the ter- terrible astra itself was merged in the rishi's staff making both it and the holy man glow with the glory they had ad- absorbed vishwamitra stood dazed openly accepting defeat he said of what use is the kshatriya's might in arms with but a sa- staff in his hand this vasishta had nullified all my weapons lord shiva has indeed fooled me there is no alternative for me but to become a brahma rishi like vasishta so saying he withdrew from the field of battle and proceeded south for more rigorous tapas for years and years vishwamitra went through terrible austerities pleased with his perseverance brahma presented himself before him advising vishwamitra that as a result of his tapas he had risen to the position of a rishi among kings brahma vanished from the scene vishwamitra was disappointed that all his penance could get him only the status of rajarishi not content with anything but the highest rank of a brahma rishi he subjected himself to still more rigorous austerities in order that he might be acknowledged an equal of vasishta